Dear viewers, welcome to the first episode of Untold Farming, a segment where we highlight the success story of farmers in and outside our country borders. Most of these stories have not been told to the larger audience, and in our first episode, we are in Magarini, Kilifi County, to report on pineapple farming business, a venture now turning to be a success to many farmers in the region. This is Kilulu village, Magarini, and this expansive 22-acre pineapple farm is owned by Renson Kambi, one of the first growing smallholder pineapple farmers in the region. In the recent past, this kind of farming has taken root in several parts of Kilifi, including Marafa, Jamari, and Adu Kamale. Farmers have embraced the growth of pineapple as a crop, and it is now changing their lives for the better. The variety of pineapple grown in this region is the farmer's smooth cayenne, a sweet pineapple fast gaining market among the world's pineapple marketing destination. On the other hand, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, has started an aggressive campaign to market this variety and push for its market demand. According to CALRO head of seed unit Lawrence Muragwa, this variety has now been renamed Marafa Sweet because of its sweetness. You know pineapples in Kerifi, they are the best in the country. They are the sweetest. Right now, the local varieties, because we need, when we go to the market, we have been asked when we are, multiple, when we are promoting the Kerifi pineapples, especially in Marafa, because we are too many groups that are interested in Kerifi uh, pineapples. We have, we have developed a local name around Marafa, we call it Marafa Sweet. That is the name we want to market in Kenya from Malafa. We call it Malafa Sweet for the sake of marketing in the supermarkets. Mr. Muragwa says that Kilifi pineapples are among the sweetest in the country and with a good marketing strategy, farmers will reap maximum benefit from it, a reason that has influenced them to work with farmer groups in the county to market the products abroad. We are looking for market in Germany, market in UK, for Kilifi pineapples if they are excess. We are also making sure that any new problem we get, like this season we have got a very queer problem. We have never seen uh, pineapples being attacked by chaffa grabs. This season they were attacked and we have uh, been dealing with it and right now we are setting up the experiments to find the efficacy of the chemicals that we can use, although we don't want to use the chemicals. If the farmers have nothing else to use, we are making sure we are helping by doing research from Caro side to find the efficacy of what chemical we farmers can be using just in case it attacks. But we want Kirifi to remain an organic uh, pineapple county. But of course we have to take care if at all the grabs come. Then we have also set up, because we have found the farmers are planting pineapples locally without knowing the geometry of planting. We are at a moment today setting up experiments to determine the best arrangement of pineapples in the farm because they range from 7,000 plants to 10,000. And you know in Thika some, and the Kiambu, it is 22,000 uh, plants per hectare, per acre. So we want to find out which is the best arrangement, and we have started those experiments. In fact, that is what we are planting right now. Then we are also planting to see, those who are able to apply any manure, how much manure you can put in pineapples so that you can get good pineapples for the size that is wanted by the international markets. We are doing that at our level. Kilifi County Chief Officer in charge of agriculture and livestock, Frederick Kaingu, says farmers have increased their acreage under pineapples after discovering that it is among the most beneficial agribusiness ventures in the county. Pineapple growing in uh, Kilifi County has taken shape. 
And the region which is high producing is a, what we call the Magarini region. And in Magarini region, we have the Marafa ward and also we have the Ad ward. In combining the two, we are talking of about 525 farm families who solely depend on the growth of pineapples, which is this pineapple that is grown. The pineapple that is grown in Cliffy County, especially in the area of Margarin sub-county, is called the smooth cayenne. The smooth cayenne originated in Hawaii. And this is a, a yellow, when it is, it is ripe, it is yellow in color and usually has high manganese content and also high sugar content and high vitamin content. So it is one of the best type of variety that Kilifi County is growing, whereby it addresses the issue of food nutrition for, the, for its masses. You realize that uh, this year, we are also expecting to have a bumper harvest and we have also been harvesting for the last uh, three months currently. And we usually sell this harvest to the small outlets that we have, mostly the major markets, that is Mandi Market, the Mombasa Market, and also the towns in Ukunda, and also the towns around the coastal region. Mr. Kaingu says that a high-level count engagement is going on between devolved government and farmers in a bid to commercialize the sector. There's a need that we are on a high level in the department so that we can be able to commercialize this sector, whereby we are looking at having what we call contracted farming, whereby the farmers will uh, be profiled and enlisted to make sure that they sell or they only produce for a specific market. When we finish that level, then we go to the second stage, whereby we shall do multiplication of the pineapple seedling. So we shall have big nurseries to multiply and also to increase the acreage, because if we have little production, then we cannot get the market. So we shall go to the second point, whereby we shall have big nurseries for the smooth cayenne. Or if it is a different variety, depending on the market, then we shall have to, to change. When we have the product in mass, or when we have the pro, uh, production which are required, then we shall go to the third step whereby we are looking at having the PPP or the private partnership with a certain investor so that the department here has already secured the farmers, has already protected the farmers with price fluctuation. But here we have the third stage whereby we are bringing an investor who shall be able to make sure that these all production of the pineapples are all taken to a specific place. When we reach that level, then we can now go to the second or the fourth step whereby we are looking at having a factory in place. And for you to have a factory, we are saying we should have all those steps in place and we have already, uh, we have already a ready market and therefore we shall choose which is the first production line that is to be made for the, for the, for the pineapple. Because Currently, it is just being sold as whole pineapple and also small, small scale uh, 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 business people, SMEs who make juices. But we are talking of a factory, and the factory requires high numbers of production for them, for the factory to, to run. So, when you reach at that level whereby we are having enough production, then we can be able to invite the, the, the investor and we can be able to to make the first production line, which maybe if it is juice making or if it is export market for the whole full fruit, we shall be able to decide when we have those steps in place. According to Mr. Kambi, pineapple has been his farming venture for the past 20 years, bringing in a tight sum to his pocket. Kusema kweli minanasi kona faida. Minanasi kona faida. Hasa ukizingatia zile kanuni za minanasi, si kona faida. Hapa nimepanda hizi ni ekari 22 na nimepanda hizi sacks zisizopungua uh, laki kwa sababu ekari moja ni ya 1000 ikiwa ni hizi za agriculture ya 70 by 70 uh, kwa hivyo unachukua 10000 times 22 unapata hizo sacks ambazo ziko hapa hapa na kwa kupanda hawa wafanyikazi wanaopanda mche mmoja wanachukua shilingi moja na nusu kusema kweli ekari moja ukipanda ukimaliza huwezi kosa kulipa kama laki moja unusu ekari moja ambao limepandwa kwa miche miche 1000 umenunua na umepanda na pengine kuna mfanyikazi kipaka izae unaweza tumia kama laki moja unusu 
na katika ile 1000 ndio maana nakwambia kwamba mimi nasiko na, na faida katika 1000 ya miche umegarimika 150000 let's say katika ile 10 1000 tuseme miche 1500 itazaa 1500 haitazaa na kwa wakati huu na simoja ni 50 shillings 5000 times 50 that is 250 obviously ile nusu yake tayari tayari imekubakishia manake ikiwa gharama gharama ya ekari kutoka e paka anze kuvuna inakuja 150 umelipa ufanyikazi umenunua ume, ume mbegu sio kwamba mbegu ni yako umenunua mbegu umekatiwa pale pale umepanda 150 ni gharama hiyo na nasi unaanza kuvuna lakini sasa katika ile miche 1000 tuseme imezaa miche 1500 1500 haikufanya nini haikuzaa na nasi moja kwa saa hii ni shilingi hamsini. Hamsini marisha 1500 that is 250 250 ondoa zile gharama zako za 150 umebakisha 50000 ambao ni faida pending kuna 5000 haijaza huku upigewe hesabu unjona kwa hivyo ina faida hasa ukiwa na farm kubwa namna hii iko na faida sana kwa sababu hapa ikifikia wakati wa season naweza toa gari tano kwa siku ama gari tano kwa wiki ambao gari gari moja gari moja kama ile ya tani 12 ikitoka hapa haiwezi kosa kuacha 250000. Eh. Yeah. Kwa hivyo zikitoka kumi, obviously hapo 250 times 10. Eh unapiga mahesabu. Eh unajua ni gapi? Sasa utakuta ina inakusaidia sana ni hii. A report done by the Kilifi County Government in 2019 towards commercialization of pineapple has shown that the region has favorable agroecological zones for pineapple production. The report notes that in Magarini subcount for example Pineapple production is ranked number one among the major cash crops with a turnover of 32,000 metric tons in 2017. From the report, it is definitely clear that pineapple is currently among the leading cash crop in the sub-county. At an average farm gate price of 30 shillings per kilogram, pineapples realized an estimated turnover of 960 million in 2017. And currently the county produces only 21,000 metric tons of the fruit valued at 646 million before processing according to the report over 500 farm families in Magarini drive their livelihood from pineapple farming it further says that the productivity of the pineapple remains low at 22 tons per hectare in the region against a potential of between 50 to 70 tons per acre low total production can be attributed to low use of inputs especially poor planting material and poor agronomic practices farmers have not been able to open up all the arable arid and semi arid lands and available and suitable for pineapple production because of inadequate capital and poverty levels in the areas of Magarini where the crop does best poor marketing channels and infrastructure has often led to produce rot on the farms or in open air markets where it is often dumped the report says it is our pleasure that you have watched this segment subscribe and continue to watch more of our segments as we continue to bring to you the stories of change drawn from farming from different parts of this country and beyond our borders and this is the untold farming segment i am kazungu samuel